Hey guys, what's up? It's Ryan with Long Crack, and today we're gonna talk about the importance of accepting credit cards. Welcome back. Shout out to Orbin for requesting this video, and it is a great topic to cover, so I'm happy to do it. And it is accepting credit cards in your lawn care and landscaping business. Um, to me, this is imperative. Personally, if I was trying to find a lawn care company and you didn't accept credit cards, you are not even an option for me to consider. I pay everything with credit cards, I pay my credit cards off at the end of every month, and I get points which I use for vacations and gift cards for my customers. So if you don't accept credit cards, you're not gonna get me as a client and I can guarantee you there's a large portion of the population that will not use your service either. It is becoming the preferred method of payment um, you know, around the world for everything. So if you're not with it, please consider accepting credit cards this season because it's gonna open your door, open the doors up to a, a much wider customer audience, um, available customer pool. So please consider doing this. So I compiled a list of some, some of the benefits and why the fees really do not matter in my opinion. Okay, like I said, it's a preferred method of payment by many people, including myself. Um, another uh, little fact for you here is people spend 17% more on average when paying with a credit card as opposed to paying with cash or check. So you can potentially increase your sales by 17% because people don't feel the same sense of loss when they're paying with a credit card because they don't see the money come out of their bank account right away. It's just a weird uh, psychological thing, but it is true, it's a fact. Um, another reason I have is cash flow. So if you're accepting credit cards, somebody pays you with a credit card, typically the next day or maybe 48 hours later, that money is in your bank account and you can access it. So just the speed that you get your money is uh, so, so, so valuable. So cash flow is king in business and credit cards increase cash flow. So that's another reason for you. Um, time savings. I'm gonna attach a video to the end of this video that I shot months ago and just have not posted, and it's gonna be me going to the post office to get all the checks out of the P.O. box, and it is a, a chore. It is an absolute chore. I don't remember how many checks I pulled out, but it was like 30, 40 envelopes, and some of them had multiple checks. It was just ridiculous, but if you wanna stick around after this portion of the video ends, I will run that video. If you wanna stick around, great. If not, the, the core of the information in this video is in me in the car like this. So, uh, checks get lost in the mail. Credit card payments don't. I literally probably had five customers this year pay their bill, they gave me check numbers, they gave me dates, blah, blah, blah. They're like, it didn't, it didn't clear my bank. I'm like, look, I'm sorry, we, we never received your check. That's why we didn't uh, deposit it into our bank. Um, so that does happen. That's not gonna happen with credit cards. It's just, it's just way more convenient for people to pay with a credit card. Um, it's more secure. I've had my card hacked, my business card and my personal card a couple times, and you know I catch it very quickly. I call the credit card company, and within a matter of days, that money is credited back to my, my credit card, and it's smooth sailing. They issue me a new card, and we're good to go. So it's, it's very, very secure. You, what you gotta realize is when, you, when people are sending you a check, they have their name, their address, sometimes their phone number, their bank account, and their routing number on that check. That is not secure. So credit cards are way more secure. Um, so that, that's basically it. In my opinion, the nominal fee for t accepting credit cards is outweighed by all the aforementioned uh, benefits that I just ran through, and I may have missed some. So if you know that I missed a uh, benefit of accepting credit cards, please put that in the comments. I want to get all this information out there, and I know I don't know it all. I'm just trying to kind of go off the top of my head. I did a little research into this, uh, but just from years of running uh, my lawn care business, I also have my other businesses. We, we accept credit cards in every single one of them. Um, so you can get set up with like PayPal, um, but I would, I would honestly, get with a uh, actual credit card processing merchant 
services company. I use Chase Payment Tech uh, with the gateway being authorized.net. The fees are super duper low. Um, I, I think I'm paying maybe 1.9 to 2.5% plus maybe a 10 cent transaction fee. Uh, the fees that you're gonna get charged are based off the volume of money that you're running through your credit cards, the amount of dollars that's coming into your business via credit card payment. So as you're getting going, you might ex you might run into a, a 2.5, 2.9% fee. I mean, PayPal's fee is and Stripe is 2.9 plus 30 cents a transaction. So do not pay higher than that. And if you get with a, a real merchant services account like Chase Payment Tech, you can get those fees down. And the more money you run through, the cheaper that fee is gonna become over time. Um, let's see what else I got here. Don't, don't just go, don't be charging people um, a fee for using a credit card. If, again, going, if I'm trying, you're trying to get me as a customer and you're like, oh, you wanna pay with a credit card, it's gonna be 3% more, I'm gonna say, kick rocks, buddy. I'm not using your service. That is actually illegal in a lot of situations. So I, I don't know the specifics on the legality of charging that uh, fee for using a credit card, but I know a lot of the time it is actually illegal. What you should do is work a two or 3% price increase into your prices before you give that quote to the customer. If they pay with a check or with cash, you just made two or three more percent. If they pay with a credit card, you still got all of the money you needed for that service. Um, let's see here. So uh, another thing I have on here is time savings. So in the video, you'll see how many checks I pull out. I have to take all those checks back to the, to the computer. I have to enter them into my CRM, my software, Service Autopilot. I then have to stamp every single check. I then have to add them up. I then have to take them to the bank and deposit them. By the time all that's said and done with going through 40 checks, that's like an hour and a half of time. I would have much rather just paid a two, two and a half, three percent fee and had that money in my bank account weeks ago. So I hope you found value in the video. It's Ryan with Long Crack. As always, keep making money and don't forget if you want to stick around for the, the footage of me going to the P.O. box and pulling all these checks out, please stick around. If not, no problem. Catch you on another video. Have a good one.